former New York Republican Congresswoman Nan Hayworth, Democratic strategist Robin Biro, and campus reform editor-in-chief Lawrence Jones. Lawrence, end it with you and get your thoughts on this, you know, sentiment that's out there that might defy conventional, you know, sort of polling that's popped up that shows, you know, this blue wave coming, still might be coming, uh, but it flies in the face of people who seem to think things are percolating. What do you think? Well, you always have to separate what the American people feel about the president and what they feel about members of Congress and people that are running for re-election. It is very clear that the American people are rallying behind this president when it comes to the economy. They see some improvement there. But I would caution the president not celebrating too much. When we look at millennials uh, at campus reform, millennials aren't gearing up to support the president. Minorities, when it comes to the black community and the Hispanic community, despite the record low unemployment numbers, they're not rallying yet. And so what it tells me, Neil, is that there's a disconnect between the message, the communication shop at the White House showing those demographics uh, um, th what the president is doing and how it should matter to them. Well, uh, maybe so. But, Nan, I, I, I do see something fairly consistent going on here that does show people feeling a little bit better about their own, you know, uh, the economic position, uh, their own investments, savings, et cetera, what they're seeing in the paycheck. Now, whether that is enough to, 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 to stave off a democratic stampede or what is, is thought to be one this fall is anyone's guess. But there is a bit of a disconnect. What do you make of that? Uh, well, you know, I agree with Lawrence, Neil, that uh, the president is not identical by any means to the candidates for Senate and Congress across the country. But it's definitely true that is a striking figure that folks feel much better about the president's management of the economy than they did in, say, 2010 when I was a candidate for the big red wave. Uh, so that is a sign of hope that Republicans, if folks connect the dots and say, you know, what's most important here, and it's really true, is policies, not personalities, but policies. And Democrats, uh, as good as people as they are, will not be supporting the policies that we need to keep this going and make it even better. The president knows that. He needs to emphasize that. I agree with Lawrence. And that should be the message. These policies yeah. are working. Let's keep them going. Robin, um, I'm wondering if, uh, whether it's just outside the realm of things that people pick up at primary states, or but but advocating an Iran agreement uh, that many on both sides said was flawed to begin with, but with differences of opinion as to whether you should should walk away from it. But does that move the needle at all? You think in this country in some of these elections? It does. It does to a point, Neil. But the other panelists both were correct by saying that this doesn't translate basically to congressional candidates. C Congress still has record low approval ratings. Uh, mm -hmm. But you know, honestly, I just have to say that I, I want this president to succeed. I'm actually glad that his approval numbers are better because that shows that he's doing a better job. Uh, really, I Robin, a, you a actually feel that way. Him. You've been you've been doing OK. I, I do. Well, as an American, as uh, a patriot, as a veteran, I do want him to succeed because if he fails, we all fail. Uh, but, you know, like I said, this doesn't translate to the, the congressional candidates. Uh, but I will say that Democrats right now are winning in special elections all across the country in bright red areas. Donald Trump should be concerned about that uh, come the midterms, Neil. You know, yep. Lawrence, there is this uh, sort of disconnect as well about how the media reports on things or how things are really going. The president's numbers have been ticking up a little bit and that that will translate into the midterm. That oftentimes, even though the president's name is not in the ballot in midterm elections, he is very much the focus of them. Do you agree with that? Yeah, there, there's some blame uh, on the media, and then there's also some blame, Neil, of members of Congress as well. Because remember, it's not like the Republican Party has been in lockstep when it came, comes to this president, and it doesn't uh, help anymore that the media is focused on issues like Russia or Stormy Daniels when American people are really more concerned about the economy and things that affect them on a day-to-day -day basis. And so there's a mixture of the ineffectiveness of Congress after they promised if they got control of all branches of government as well as uh, unfair media. All right, guys, I'd hate to cut this short. I do want to convey something we're getting out of reaction, more reaction, foreign reaction to this Iranian decision today.